Hey everybody, it's Mark again, and there was somebody who asked me a question the other day um, on how to adjust the levers when you don't have a eight-point star wheel that's on the outside of the back plate. In this case, this is a Herbert Herr movement, and the the wheel that trips the high note, low note, and gong is this wheel right here that has all the pens on it. And the way that you would adjust that is by, let me get some tools, is by taking the bottom nuts off and you're going to have to do it on both sides and this is a trial and error type of situation you're probably not going to get it right the first time. But you would take and spread the movement plates apart. Taking out the great wheel for the uh, time side. Sorry, strike side. And then this next wheel is the wheel that has the pens on it. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to separate it. And you might have to loosen the uh, front nuts also. But you would, um, you would separate it from the plates. Just enough to ensure that the gear is not engaging in the third wheel warning warning pen and then you would stick it back into its slot and then put the great wheel back into its slot And I'm trying to do this on camera, staring over the camera. And so uh, I can't see that well, uh, first of all. And then you would close up the uh, plates. making sure that the uh, pivots go into their proper slot Again, I'm staring over a camera trying to do all this. And then you would trip the um, levers and see if they work. And of course, I don't have what is known as the rack and snail on this. This is just a uh, um, 
a movement that I use to answer questions. So, if you know which gear is out of place, and some, and sometimes with um, not with this particular movement this particular movement I actually gave uh, a friend of mine tonight a part off this clock but this particular Herbert Herb movement has got this uh, J-shaped um, weld uh, wire welded soldered to it and that's what catches those pens and so uh, some other movements if the um, if what catches those pens might be bent wrong you might have to straighten it out some to um, to catch the pens and and again I gave the gong to a, a friend of mine tonight because he was having issues with one of his clocks and he drove all the way to see me so I gave him the gong to fix his clock but the way this Herbert Herb movement works is the gong plays and then the high note lift lever and then the low note lift lever and I might have told in a different video something else but the gong hits first and then the high note lift lever which is this lever right here and then the low note lift lever so again if if your levers are not working properly, most of the time what happens is the low note lift lever and the gong seem to get stuck in the same area. So in order to fix that, you have to take these two bottom nuts off, take the great wheel off, and move this wheel that has the pens on it just slightly to get the uh, low note lift lever out of the way of the gong. You might be able to take the gong out, take the low note lift lever out, bend the pen that, again, this is our Herbert Herb movement. And this movement has got these J wires attached to it. But other movements will have a, a single wire that catches those pins. You might be able to bend that pen slightly. Be careful not to uh, break it off the uh, post to uh, get the low note lift lever to drop where it needs to be but most of the time you have to uh, take the main gear out take the second uh, wheel which is the strike side wheel out away from its away from the pinion for the um, third wheel warning pin adjust it Put it back in, put the main gear back in, put the nuts on. I hope this helps. May God bless each and every one of you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it's free to do so.